Hey everyone, it's Ann and welcome back. Um, I decided to switch it up and do a quarantine grocery haul video because I have accumulated a lot of food um, in the past few weeks and that is honestly the most exciting thing going on right now. Um, so I have a lot to get through. I have a mound of food over here and I want to get it done in 10 minutes. So we're just going to get into it. Um, so in no particular order, these are the things I'm loving. Okay. So Kite Hill cream cheese. It is a dairy free cheese. Um, it tastes very, very similar to the normal, um, chive cheese that you might get at Noah's bagels, but it's made of almond milk. I love this. I grabbed two of them and the flavor is obviously chive. So that's one thing. Um, this is spinach dip. Um, and it is a dairy free spinach dip. It's all out because I scarfed it down. Um, I get it from Air One, which is a very LA, um, sceny grocery store. I, I get this and it is expensive, but if you don't want to make a homemade dairy free spinach dip, might as well grab it. So love that. Um, at Trader Joe's, I grabbed a couple of these actually. These are the lemon, chicken, and arugula salad. It is my favorite salad at Trader Joe's. Um, it has arugula, chicken, and then this Israeli couscous. It's so good. The dressing is uh, pimento vinaigrette, and it only has like 70 calories in the vinaigrette, and I keep wanting to submit to Trader Joe's that they have to just have the vinaigrette sold on its own. Um, it is that good. So I stocked up, I actually got three of them, but that's my favorite. So, you know, just if I am in between meetings at work and I just wanna have the quickest thing to eat, that's what I'm eating. Um, then, Flackers. Um, this is one of my favorite snack crackers. Um, it's made of flaxseed and basically nothing else. There's like apple um, cider vinegar, garlic powder, but it is very, very clean. And um, I've been trying to just cut down the amount of calories I'm meaning and tracking it, um, but I'm not like completely low carb. I don't want to like track every minuscule thing, but I gain weight during quarantine, so it has to come off. So flackers are my best friend because it has 11 carbs and eight of them are fiber. Um, so anyway, it basically has no carbs and I really like the taste of them. Most of my friends don't, um, I'm fine with that, but I, I really like flackers and I like saying flackers. It sounds like something Donald Duck would say, so I find it entertaining. Um, okay, next thing is this granola. It is purely Elizabeth maple, um, maple walnut granola. Um, it is for my acai and dragonberry bowls, which I've been loving because I feel like it is something that's exciting, refreshing, pretty healthy, and I make it at home. So I stocked up on a bunch of packets and I'm making them every other day. But this is a great granola I've been using. I'm still looking for the ultimate granola because I didn't think this was chunky enough, but it is um, gluten-free, which is my main priority. And so then the next thing is mom's hummus. I get this in LA at the farmer's market. You can get the Studio City one, the Brentwood one. It's my favorite hummus. This is the black bean chipotle. It's a little bit spicy, but barely, barely. It's just so good. I put it on my gluten-free pita bread and I, I die, I love it. Um, then, oh my God, so much to get through. Um, Palmini. So this is something, um, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go. Um, it is Hearts of Palm Linguini, and it's one of those, it just reminds me of zoodles, like the, the calorie-free noodles. One of my friends would always get it, and she insisted it tasted good if you seasoned it right. I, I don't think there's any way that calorie-free, like weird processed noodles would actually taste good. Um, I can be proven wrong, but I don't know. So this is giving me zoodles vibes. But if it actually is good, um, it is great because it's 20 calories a serving and it's 50 calories in the whole bag and it's linguine. But you have to soak it in milk for an hour to get the hearts of palm taste out. So I just wanted to try it. it it's been sitting in my cabinet for like two weeks now. So when I'm feeling adventurous, I'll do it. Um, then these, they're Fiber One Strawberries and Cream Protein Bars. Um, I didn't really love these, um, to be honest. This, 
This is how big they are. They're like this big. It's like a Fig Newton size. Um, and they're a little bit too chewy. Like I never thought too chewy would be a thing I would really care about in a bar, but it's just too chewy. I felt like my mouth, I mean, my mouth was like getting a workout trying to eat this. And I mean, it's a bar, but I just thought it, like strawberries sounded good to me. So that's why I got it. But I mean, yeah, no, it, it wasn't good. Um, this uh, pancake gluten free mix, it is Pamela's. I got Whole Foods. Still haven't used it. I wanna do a full blown pancake day with a lot of syrup and chocolate chips and haven't gotten around to it yet, but this looked good. Um, these are my favorite crackers at Trader Joe's. I have three packs of them. I eat them with salad as a little crunch. Like it's kind of like a crouton, but I eat them kind of together, I guess you would say. Um, high protein, veggie burger um i got this because it is a recipe i saw um on brett Taft's youtube and he has really good vegan recipes um that i'm like not really giving an intro on what this is okay so what he does is he pairs these together so you have the kale gnocchi and the vegan protein patty and you make a vegan beef bolognese i think that's what it is um, but anyway, it's his recipe where he basically crushes this uh, patty up with um, vegetable stock and then he throws sriracha in it and a lot of spices and then it gets the consistency when you add it with like a, uh, a red sauce. It, it has the consistency like it is beef. So I was shocked because when I first had these, like I know a lot of people love them, but I wasn't thrilled about them. I don't know, something about the texture maybe, but then when you mush it up and then you crumble it, it's incredible. Um, and then obviously kale gnocchi, everyone loves this. So I stocked up on it. Um, they go together. So I will link to his recipe um, because he has really hearty recipes. Um, and again, I'm not vegan, but I like to eat, um, if I can take meat out of some meals, I try and do it. Next thing. So I decided to get Orville Redenbacher movie theater butter because it just like it just reminds me of like high school and just throwing it in the microwave and just hanging out with my family. So I felt like why not have some comfort popcorn um, during quarantine? And so I have been loving this. Um, highly recommend with rom-com um, night although we keep trying to find the ultimate rom-com cannot find one like there's certain ones where they're almost perfect but I mean you just can't beat you know 10 things I hate about you like the next thing is so I still eat meat these are meat sticks um, these are Chomps and these are Thrive Market. I always have these lying around. I have them in my car. I have them at work. I just have them in case I get hungry because they really help curb your appetite so you don't do something disastrous later. Um, like I'll have them on my ride home from work and then I don't eat this crazy meal when I get home. So basically these hold me over um, and when this all first happened, I saw grocery stores had crazy lines. So I ordered these on Thrive Market and was like preparing for the apocalypse. I was like, what does not need a refrigerator? Oh, I guess I'll get two packs of beef sticks. Um, and so that's what I did. And I got a lot of bonds of pasta, which I've eaten all completely. So I can't show it in this video, but I love bonds of pasta. I love these. Um, my thing about chomps is I've been telling my friend um, she doesn't like them and I said well you know if you have it lying around your car or you rub it between your hands and get it warm I think it tastes better I think it takes like, tastes like a Slim Jim which is kind of greasy and if it's too like cold and hard then it doesn't taste greasy and good so anyway I suggest rubbing them between your hands but um, yeah my friend thinks I'm crazy for that <laughs> and she told her boyfriend and he's like you you rub them between your hands i'm like yep that's that's what you do here's the acai stuff that i get um so this is just the sambazon i personally like it better than the trader joe's one i've been just loving the acai bowls with the granola and um also the dragonberry bowls and i thought i wasn't gonna like the dragonberry or dragonberry dragon fruit bowls 
I thought I wasn't gonna like it as much, but I honestly like them equally. Like I rotate between dragon fruit or acai. I'm loving these. And then what I do is, the key for me is I want it really, really thick. So I do a full frozen banana, um, a bunch of frozen blueberries, for frozen strawberries, and then I might sneak a little um, spinach into it, but not too much spinach, because you don't want to weigh it down and make it taste too healthy. Like I want this to be a treat. And then I do um, a third of a cup of the granola on top. But what's really key is that if you are watching what you eat, you need to just measure the granola because I was alarmed. Um, I had no idea that a third of a cup was so little. So that is something I have learned. And then the last thing is one of my favorite things. See, these are the Jimmy Dean's Eggwich sandwiches and they're two egg um, patties with a sausage in between and a piece of cheese cheese in between and I am loving them. I didn't, I had seen them around for a while and I'm like, that's so processed, I shouldn't even touch that. But now that I was watching a lot of these random Weight Watchers videos, um, I'm like, I'm all in on the Jimmy Dean's egg witch. So this is what they look like. It's not that appetizing, but you basically microwave it in the packet. Um, you just open it a little bit and you microwave it and I'm loving it. Um, the reason I went down a Weight Watchers rabbit hole is because I thought about it. Some, it was on my sidebar and then I was like, you know what? I feel like, like a lot of the recipes are just like really easy and approachable and it's more about like hacking the system for some people. So I forget, I don't know how many points, I don't follow the whole thing, but there's a lot of hacks that people have in these videos where they're saying, okay, this is maybe like three points and then you can do that with the gluten-free, um, mini bagel um they're called like odo's bagels but basically they're 100 calories and it is just the perfect meat these are the jimmy dean frittatas that i also got because i wanted to stock up don't like the frittatas just like a word a word from the wise no frittatas um i don't they were so dry so dry i mean maybe i got a bad batch but i was not into this and then final final thing i thought i was done um, these are noon tablets. They have caffeine and electrolytes. And what I heard um, when I was getting a facial is that you don't want to just drink water. Um, you want to have electrolytes so then your skin stays plump. So I was like, how can I get electrolytes easily? So I got all these noon tablets. I have like six tablets lying around. This one's my favorite. It is ginger lemonade. I really like it. I drink it before going on a walk and I'm jacked. I'm actually, I just took one before this video and I'm actually really jacked. Um, so if you, if you just need a little pick me up and you want um, electrolytes plus water, um, do the noon. I'm getting potassium from the bananas. I'm getting potassium from wherever I can find it and I'm taking my noon. And that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have other little hacks, um, let me know in the comments. I really want to stock up on different items. I'm just trying it all out. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. It helped me so much. And I'll talk to you guys later.